Good morning, everybody. I'm Lady Nadra. You guys, welcome to my vlog. Welcome to this week's vlog. I'm, try I'm getting ready for church this morning, and I'm trying to figure out what shoe I want to wear. I kind of wanted to do that little tie-up method. I'm rushing. I just got the shower, so I'm sweating. But I'm trying to figure out, do I want to do the tie-up method? This shoe is probably not going to work for today um i think i would want the the pant leg can you guys see i would want the pant leg to be fuller it looks it gets too skinny looking when i um tie it like that so i'm not sure i want it to be more full like this side but this shoe goes between my toe and um no not today <laughs> um so I gotta figure out my shoe situation, but I wanted to come on here and say hi. I'll show you guys my my final look right as I head out the door, cause I'm late. So today's outfit, um, this jacket from Zara. Um, I couldn't find it to link it, but I'm gonna keep looking so I can I'll update the the description box if I see it. But it's just this like uh, I would say kimono esque jacket from Zara. I got this last week, so it's fairly new I guess um uh they had a lot of them so it seemed like it was it was a new a new item but I didn't see it online for some reason um but it's from Zara it doesn't button I, I featured this last week in my haul my Zara haul and then these pants just happen to have the same colors running through them but these pants I got them they're just like some cargo pants Morgan got them for me from um, Amsterdam when she went last year so I can't really help you with these but then I have on these Schutz boots um this kind of caramel color caramel if you will whatever you call it um I decided to put the boot under the pant in order to keep it the pant leg looking full um so that's what's happening even if they cheat up a little bit that'll be fine the boot is the boot is booting um <laughs> And then I have on just this, you know, tank top from, from I think from, um, where did I get this? Target. I got this from Target. Um, this basic piece from Target. I got my arm candy on, my normal arm candy. I think I might put a little bit more, make this a little bit more va-va-boom, a little razzle-dazzle on this arm because, just because, I don't know. <laughs> uh, these glasses I have on right now are from... Amazon, believe it or not. They are really, really cute. Um, however, I think I'm gonna switch them out today. Oops. I think I'm gonna switch them out and put on these Chloe shades. Um, I don't know. I don't know which ones will make it out the door. I have these earrings on. These are from Zara as well. Zara's been killing it with the with the earrings lately. Um, and that's it. I'm going to carry my Balenciaga City uh, bag, the large one, today. Yeah. So this is my look for today. And happy Sunday.
Hey y'all, so I got my, the shades that I had on earlier. I think these are the, I got two pairs. You know how Amazon does, they send you. Um, they send you one at a time, <laughs> for whatever reason. But anyway, I got these, yep, I got these. I got them in a purple tint as well. Um, Hopefully they don't look too cheap. Because the glasses, honestly, they they look better than they feel. Uh, I don't know, let me see. Oh, they could look kind of cute though. They look cute. Now, everything does look really, really purple. <laughs> or lavender or It like brightens. These are not for the everyday usage. You know, this is for you to kind of just pull a look off. So um, I'll link these down below because they have lots of different frame colors. I mean, uh, lens colors. So I got the clear ones and these. I didn't get the yellow. Of course, I started to gravitate towards yellow. They have red and all that kind of stuff. Maybe if I have black hair, I might do that, but yeah. Purple. They're cute. So I definitely didn't eat all my food. Let me take these boots off. I didn't eat my food. Oh. Come on. <laughs> One boot off. I was so sleepy on the way home. And um, I'm gonna see <laughs> if I could recapture some of that. Oh my God. Oh. I'm gonna see if I can recapture some of that. That sleepiness. You know how, I ha how it works when you don't, um, when you get home, you're not sleepy. But I didn't eat all my food. So I want to eat a little bit more of my crab cooker. Whew, because it was so good. I asked for some, some fresh drawn butter so that I could bring it home and finish eating it. Um, but I'm going to eat a little bit more of it and my rice, rice pilaf. I don't know, I'm not really a big rice girl, but this rice is good. And part of the reason I didn't eat my most of my food, which I, I can't eat it all for sure in one setting. Look how big that piece of crab is. Um, But their breadsticks, there in the restaurant, them breadsticks are, whew, they're fire, so. I'm gonna um, eat some of this and then put the rest in the refrigerator because I know I won't be able to eat it all now either. But if you've never been to the crab cooker, I only know of two, one in Newport and one in, I think that's Santa Ana. But the crab cooker, it's just, it's not, nothing nice. It's like rustic. They give you food, your food on a paper plate. Little plastic cups, plastic um, flatware, all that, you know. It's just, it's nothing fancy. The sides, I always get double rice because I don't like tomatoes. And they give you sliced tomatoes as a side coleslaw as a side potatoes and I'm not I'm not a real big potato person mm -hmm. rice pilaf and it may be one more that's not appealing to me Mark and Brianna they like the um, they have red clam chowder I'm a fan of white clam chowder so I don't have to have that either but the crab, I mean, 
amazing. Hey y'all, today's Monday. Happy Monday, it's like midday. I'm getting ready to run over to Sephora real quick because um, today's the last day of the sale. And I meant to get the, um, you guys know I use that, that Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb um, Hydration, this one. I need one more of these, number one. And then they have this, um, I probably could have ordered it online, but I'm just gonna go in the store. If they don't have it in store, then I'll order it online. But online, but um, I said I, I, I watched my video back and I be eating up my words. So let me try to speak more clearly. <laughs> um, come on phone, on my phone. I was trying to um, update my phone. And it looked like it was taking long, but it's done now. Um, anyway, I need to go get one more True Cream Aqua Bomb, the large size, because I use it up. Made up my bed, changed my sheets Monday. Y'all know I do all that on Monday. Um, but they also have a like kind of a, a sample set that kind of introduces you to different products. I use Belief, um, the, I only use that product from Belief, but as much as I like it, I think I wanna try, they have a, an SPF, which, you know, summertime, when the sun comes out, I believe I'm supposed to have SPF on my face. Um, but they have that and they also have like an eye cream, like a jelly, jelly eye cream or something like that. So I wanna um, pick that up, sorry. I'm eating the rest of my um, crab from yesterday. Mm. It's so good. Okay, so the, today was the last day of the Sephora sale and <clears throat> I'm Rouge, so I got this, um, I got 20% off everything. So I got this, um, the Belief Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser. I didn't get the eye cream. I didn't find the little, the little pack. I saw a travel pack. It was like a hydration kit, um, for 27 bucks. So if you guys are interested in that, um, by the time you see this video, that'll be off, but the products will still be available. You won't get the 20% off or the 10% off, but um, yeah. So I got the jelly cleanser and I got a True Cream Aqua Bomb. That's, that's what I came for. Um, Lily Lashes has this, this uh, I guess they're like a, supposed to be a little lighter they're not as heavy as the normal lashes. So I did pick up a pair of those um, in the style blushing. So they seem very wispy, light and wispy. Can you guys see those? They're not, um... yeah. So the band is still nice and, and, you know, firm or not firm. It's pliable, but it's, it's, I don't want to say thick, but thick is probably the best word to describe it. It's sturdy. It's not, um, they don't bend all up and it holds its shape and it, it ends up molding to your eyes. So you could just, you know, if you wear them like once or twice, it kind of makes it easier to just pop them on. Anyway, I got those and then I got the SPF, the Belief, the True Cream Aqua Bomb Sunscreen. I got this because um, I have SPF in my Hydrovisor, my Fenty Hydrovisor, which I use that um, all the time, but I'm just about out of it. So I wanted to <clears throat> try this one, this SPF and see, see how it does. If I like it, more or less if it doesn't seem to be that big of a difference because the hydrovisor is a is a moisturizer plus this probably is too a moisturizer plus um 
at, with SPF. And this probably is too. Although it just says SPF. Two-in-one SPF sunscreen and moisturizer, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll see if there's a big difference. Um, I should have looked at the price. I'll look at the price and see if there's a big difference in that as well. Um, then I got my K18, which is my leave-in molecular level hair mask. Um, this stuff, I have, I've been out of it for a minute, so I thought I'd re-up on it. It's this little thing is $75. But the product and the fact that it's a leave-in, it's good. It's good for me because, you know, I do so much to my hair, all this bleaching and whatnot. So that's all I got. And now I'm headed back home because I'm not going to spend no more money till I get to New York. You know? Oh, did I tell you guys I was going to New York? I'm going to New York. I'm going to New York and I'm going on a shopping trip. This is my birthday trip. So, it's gonna have fun. Also, I looked for the Fenty Beauty um, MVP. I could never find it in store. Um, they had a sample in there and I tried it. I put it on my hand and it's a good red. I'm really enjoying that MAC Powder Kiss um, color that I have, the red color that I have, because it has more of a blue base to it. And so, it's a good red for the my dark lips, you know? It comes across well, so. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this little dog. It's like he's so annoying. I have to turn my TV down. If he hears my TV, then he's really cranked up, you know? See, once I start talking, then he just starts getting, you know, really belligerent. <laughs> Guess what? Guess what? It's my birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday. You wanna sing happy birthday to me? Come on. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nadra. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, huh? <laughs> Cheers to the weekend, girl. Cheers. <laughs> Take a shot. Go. Go. Take it back. Go back. Take it back. Yeah. <laughs> It was so sweet. One of the um, employees there, she heard me having Mama sing me um, happy birthday. And she came over and she said, I don't know if it really is your birthday, but here, I want you to give, <laughs> want to give you this. So I thought that was so sweet. She came and brought me some muffins and a pastry for my birthday. That was sweet of her. You guys, that was such an interesting visit. So on each resident's door, they have like a, a write-up of, or maybe not necessarily a biography, but kind of a write-up of what they were interested in or what they did when they were younger. And one of the ladies in there, Peggy, I mean... She is firm, like, when I walk by her, I'm like, I'll say hi, and she may or may not say hi. She's very firm, very stern. Um, just That's just her disposition. So, um, they were trying to clean up today, and they told her 
um, to go back and sit down at her table and she just wouldn't do it. <laughs> she wouldn't sit down at her table. So, um, she was trying to help them clean up basically. And so some of the things, they have a method to what they do. You know, they, they clean this up first, that up next. Blah, 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 blah. I'm sure there's a, re a reason why they do what they do. But, um, she kept getting in the way and she wanted to do something. I don't know what it was she was trying to do, but she kept trying to put something in, in the wrong bag. And they were like, no, they kept trying to redirect her. No, honey, no, honey, you know, doing all that. And then the next thing I know they were getting, I heard them getting firm with her, you know, and like, no, Peggy, sit down. And she's like, but why, why can't you, why can't I do it? Why won't you let me do it? Why won't you let me do it? Please let me do it. Please let me. You know, she was just like, you know, in distress. And um, and she would not stop. So then they would send her back to her table and she would come back. Then next thing you know, she's arguing with another one of the residents. So they came over and told me, they said, the reason she's like that is because she used to be a corrections officer. <laughs> I'm like, oh, so she thinks she's at the jail. She's at work, <laughs> you know? It's so funny to see them, their personalities come through um, this this dementia, you know, whatever kind they got, their personality peeks through it. It's, I enjoy it. I enjoy my time. I stayed up, stayed over there two hours today. Just um, I did my mom's hair, and then um, yeah, it was interesting to to see the different personalities today. I was here for it. Everybody say happy birthday to Trina. Say the I, I'm assuming. Slow down, Lisa. They about to be 53. They did in their 50s and stuff like that. Like what? You? How old? I'm 53. How old are you? I'm Alma. 52. How old are you? 52. <laughs> She's 52 for two days. 53 today. <laughs> 53 today. They talking about I'm deep in my 50s and all that. They talking about oh yeah, well, but LL. But this LL. This LL looking so good. You look so good. You look real 60. What you doing about? But they said when you, when you turn 60, you're supposed to drink a lot of water. So they said make your 60-year-olds drink a lot of water. <laughs> That's your 60. Not a rub on the back. Not a rub on the back. Your 60-year-olds got to drink a lot of water. I got to drink a lot of water. Your reserve is low. My reserve. <laughs> your reserve. Uh, but Lise, Lise, you look good, Lise. You, you look, look good. good. You, you look, look good. good. You look good. I got to drink water. <laughs> We got a sweet oh, sweet. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't put me on there. Look terrible. I don't have makeup. Oh, no. well, talk to <laughs> us. Talk to us. Tell us. Tell us what your your experience is as you watch. Yes. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> she and doesn't want to be on camera, but she loves it. And I want to go shopping with you. Okay, let's do it. Let's do <laughs> it. Wow, that was super cool. I ran into a sweet sweet at the nail salon. <clears throat> she was like, aren't you Nadra? <laughs> Nadra? She actually used to be my neighbor when I lived on that side of town, but she's been watching and I had no clue. It's, it's just interesting how you can't tell who's watching your videos here on YouTube, you know? But anyway, um, that was cool running into her and she was like, I wanna go shopping with you sometime. <laughs> Like sure, sure. Well, let's let's figure that out, you know. Um, also, I got a speaking engagement um, from here on YouTube. One of the ladies wants me to come and do um, a talk on self care, and you know, as a woman of faith, you know the importance of self care. So that's going to be exciting. That's super exciting. We're, in the process of working all the particulars out now 
And, um, yeah. Look at Lady Nadra. You know, you get in such a habit of um, sitting up talking to yourself while you're recording these videos. You know, it's kind of... Um, well, I, I enjoy when you guys talk to me in the comments because then I kind of get a little feedback as to what you enjoy and what you what you would like to, you know, see more of or what have you or what, what has impacted you, if anything, um, what's helpful to you, you know what I mean? Because that, that, that's why I'm doing it, to be able to, to um, help you guys to find products or find clothes or you know, develop a personal style or things like that. You know, the lady that I saw today, she was telling me how she, you know, um, she can't wear the stuff that I wear, but she loves, you know, how I put things together and so on and so forth. And it's like, I'm probably going to do something just based on that conversation. I'm probably going to do something um, where maybe I'll get some people with different body types and we can kind of put some different... Um, you know, different heights, body types, all the things, styles, so we could put some things together. I do understand people, you know, everybody doesn't gravitate towards what I wear. Maybe they like it, but they may not have, you know, the same flair or a different flair, you know? So maybe I'll do something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, and I didn't show you guys my birthday nails birthday nails check my fingers are ashy but <laughs> my nails are done I had to soak my um, other nails off in acetone so that's why my fingers are ashy don't come for me <sighs> my Taco Bell just getting a couple of tacos and I'm ready to go home actually I think me and Mark are going to go over to um, Heroes it just opened up a new Heroes over by my house. No problem. So I think um, we're going to go run over there real quick and grab a bite. So we're walking over here to Heroes because we it's open. Uh-oh, what was that? Somebody hit something. Mark said we would slide up in here. It's so crowded. The parking lot is crowded. When did they open today or? They opened Monday. This past Monday. Uh -huh. I started but to drive over here yesterday to see if they were tonight, open. Tonight the Laker game is on. Oh. Uh, Lakers play, which is, ain't nothing, this is just up. Yeah, we got people standing all outside. I don't know why people bring their dogs. I don't know if you guys can see that dog. He just brought him in here and he almost jumped in my lap. I was so pissed off. <laughs> you know? And they were looking at me funny that I was mad. Mark just walked home to get the car. We ordered our food to go. Um, we've been here over an hour and a half. It told us an hour and 45 minutes. And I saw the um, go big or go home venue. So I'm like, let's just go home. You know what I mean? Let's just, uh, we can try this during the week, during the day, and uh, come over here and have lunch or something like that. But right now it's too new in order to uh, get in here on a Friday night. Yeah, so we're ordering to go and we're going home. Yeah, this boy. <laughs> he just asked me. Is that, is, this is a valid question. I mean, it's a valid <laughs> question, but okay. So first, the first one he asked me is, "Hot dog is a hot dog a sandwich?" That was just to loosen her up. And so I said, the, "Yeah, I would consider this meat and bread." So yeah, it could be a sandwich. Then he said. <clears throat> is cereal soup <laughs> no because soup I would consider soup hot who said that who said soup is hot soup is hot let me look at the definition I don't think soup has to I think soup just like happens to be hot it don't have to be 
Well, it, it tells mm -hmm. you to warm up the soup. Or put it on the stove, or you know. Look! Look at that. Let's see what. Cold. I thought you were eating some cold soup. I have not eaten cold soup. I don't want no cold soup. <laughs> I, I do eat, eat a lot of things cold, but eat, not like not eat. soup. I don't know. No, <laughs> I would not. Okay. It's soup. soup. It's cereal soup. It says a liquid dish typically made by boiling meat. Fish or vegetables. See? Typically. And stock or water. <laughs> he said not, typically. typically. Not cold. Like not 100% no. of the time. And boiling. Boiling. Yeah. No. Cereal's not soup. So oatmeal. I give you hot dog. Oatmeal. Yes, but oatmeal is a hot cereal. Mm -hmm. It's not soup. No, it's not soup. It's a hot cereal. It's, hot. it's a it's, hot cereal. Okay, it's covering it hot. You. It's covering hot. It's boiled. No. <laughs> no. I'm not going with you on that one. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think? In the comments, let me know. Is cereal soup? Would you consider cereal soup? And, and a hot dog a sandwich? Good morning. <laughs> Today is Saturday. I seem like it seems like I have so much to do today, and um, which is not cool because I um I don't do good when I have a lot to do. So let's pray. Stop scratching. It feels so good. <laughs> I still got a put toner on my hair, so I need to stop scratching. Um, but yeah. I got so much to do. I've got two birthday parties to go to. I need to make sure that I need to make sure that I have all of my toiletries and stuff together for my trip. I leave tomorrow night going to New York. I still have tomorrow to do some of this stuff, but um, yeah, I gotta make sure I have everything and I don't wanna run around. I don't, I have a birthday party at three and a birthday party at six. And I don't wanna um, do so much running around outside the house today that I get too tired to do what I wanna do this evening. Stop scratching. Um, I don't know what I'm taking to New York. I don't know what I wanna have while I'm there. I don't know if I wanna just buy something when I get there. I don't, probably not because the seasonal clothes, they probably have spring clothes out. And I probably need to take a few things that are warmer from here. Um, anyway. Yeah, so. Pray my day goes the way it's supposed to go. So in case you guys are interested in what I use in my hair, um, mm -hmm. I use this <clears throat> bleach. Um, this is the Blondor Plex. This is by Wella, and it has Bond Builders in it. Multi Blonde, Multi, woo, no glasses. Anyway, it has Bond Builders in it, and um, this is the bleach that I use that I found works best for me. It's not super, super, well, it's, it's bleach, so it's gonna be harsh, but um, not like the kind you just get in the regular beauty supply. That's really, really harsh um, for my hair. I would say that, and I'm a um, retired hairstylist, so I, I think it's fair for me to say that it's a little bit, it's not as gentle as something like this. Um, sure there are other brands, but this is the one I use. Blonde or Plex um, by Wella. And then I use a, I mix that with, I normally take one um, healthy scoop of, um, of the powder and put it into my bowl. And then I go in back in with the 40 volume. Um, and I use 40 volume, you know, my hair is short. I cut it and then we working on fresh hair all the time. So 
um, I go and use the 40 volume and uh, mix that to like a, a little bit more than a paste consistency. I like for it to move in my bowl. And then um, I leave that on for an hour, put a, a plastic bag over it, leave it on for an hour, uh, 45 minutes to an hour, depends on how much um, new growth I have. And since I've been waiting, like doing like two weeks and sometimes three weeks in between, I normally go for the full hour. Um, then after that, then I use this toner. This is the box. This Agora, Agora Royal Highless um, in the shade 1021. It used to be 1211, but they, since they reformulated, this is the one that I use, the 1021. So um, the thing with this is they're normally out of it. <laughs> So I had I had to order this from Amazon. It was available on Amazon. Um, my my local Cosmoprof, which is the professional spot, it was yeah they didn't have it. They didn't have it. I went in like two weeks in a row and they didn't have it. So um, I had to order it on Amazon. I just thought I'd take a look see to see if they had it and they definitely did. So I put this on same consistency, kind of kind of runny, but not too runny. You know what I'm saying? Um, you, you hold your bowl over and it just kind of starts to move. That's the, that's what I like, the consistency I like to work with. Um, so I put this on and I'm going to leave this on for 12 minutes. So I started at 8.01, so about 8, 11 or 12 or so, I'll take it off. And um, it'll give me a nice, like, steel color. That's what it normally does. Um, now, again, I got this from Amazon, so I don't know if this color is old or anything like that. But, yeah. So, after that, then I'll condition my hair. Um, and this is what I use. This is the shampoo and conditioner I use. Anyone will work, but I use this by Malibu and it's the Scout Wellness uh, Shampoo and conditioner is the same. Scalp Wellness Conditioner. All right, so those are my products just in case you're interested. Ooh, this crop top is cropping. I didn't know it was cropping this much. <laughs> Keep pulling my pants up. Anyway, um, trying to pick out shoes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with these. Um, so I think the my thought was the white ones. You know, now I'm pulling my pants up versus pulling them down to cover my shoes. But anyway, um, I was thinking about these at first. But I feel like they're doing too much. These are Balenciaga mules and they're super cute, but I just haven't been able to really wear them much. So my thought was to wear those, but I'm thinking more of the Barely There sandal from Amazon. <laughs> and um, I'm saying that because my toes it's white toenail season, so I definitely have white toenails. Um, but that little snake skin detail on the top of the on the front of the shoe, right under my toes, that's kind of giving for me. So you see my toenails, and you see the, you know, yeah. I think I think I'm gonna go with these. Right foot. All right, I'm trying to figure out which glasses to wear. So, you know, I have on this white crop top situation and I added this um, belt, this waist belt that I got in when I was in Atlanta from, I think it's a Kofi, a Kofi um, on the screen. I'll put the spelling. So I'm trying to figure out if I should just go with these shades. Or, it's probably what it's going to be. Or, should I put these on? 
Of course, I'm going to clean them because they're good and muddy. These are kind of cute too. Or maybe I'll take both of these and wear these mm, later on and wear the dark ones during the day. I think these white ones are too... Um, plus, I don't want to be fussing with them, wiping makeup off of them all day. So, yeah, these are too much. Too dark. I mean, it would be cute for another occasion, but occasion, but not today. All right. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and stick with these. Keep it simple. And keep it with these, which I think. So these are one. And these are two. Clean, though. Put it in the comment section. Entire outfit with these shoes. I don't know if you guys could see them when I was showing them earlier, but they're just a barely there sandal. The heel is a nice height. It's not obnoxious. It's easy to walk in. You know, shows off my toenails. So it'll be with this. And then my fragrance for the day is Gentle Fluidity Gold and um, a topper of Te Noir with my Baldi and Free body cream, of course. They got me some gas. I got some cash. Um, just because I'm likely going to valet once I get to L.A. I know it. Well, if you know anything about L.A., Parking is always terrible. Everywhere around there. Which way should I go out? Mm. I think I'll go this way. Um, yeah, parking is normally bad in LA. So if I have the opportunity to valet, that's what I'm going to do. So I got some cash. Um, I'm getting ready to swoop through the car wash. I went and got some Funyuns. <laughs> And a, a energy drink. Don't worry. I also got some gum. With my um, for my lip today, I just chose this. This is a honey waffles. Um, by Fenty Beauty. This it's a cream lip gloss. Can I go out this way? Yeah. It's a cream lip gloss by Fenty Beauty, and it's honey waffles is the name of it. So I'm gonna swoop through. A car wash, don't nobody tell Mark. <laughs> but a, either a bird was very sick and got my car dirty or a few birds. It looks like a few birds. Hopefully it was a few and not just one. <laughs> if it was one, he's probably dead because he was really sick. <laughs> Just saying. Um, okay, I'm gonna go by um, Bloomingdale's. I gotta pay my bill, number one. But I could have done that online. But I'm just gonna go in, and I'm thinking, I'm trying to think of something that a gift that I can get for both birthday recipients. Um, I'm thinking like a Joe Malone body cream. Um, I'll pick one you know for both or for each or one for each you know different fr different fragrance for each of them not the same party it's two different parties that I'm going to so it really doesn't matter if I get them the same one they won't know but I gotta go by Bloomingdale's and do that and then I'll be off to the first party. See y'all there. Bond number nine has a new fragrance in. It's called New York Flower. That one. Just in case anybody wants to get their nose on it. it smells pretty good.
Look who I found. Oh, let's turn this way because we can't see each other. There it is. There we are. We got Didi in the house. Good to see you, Didi. I know it's been a minute. I know Tracy was saying that you guys are always connected. Uh huh. Yeah. Since my since your since your event. Yeah, she loves it. Look who I ran into. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>